All right, so I just downloaded the new FL Studio, and this was my reaction. <laughs> FL, you might got one. What? So they added a lot of new plugins. The VFX sequencer, vintage course, a vintage phaser, plus little stuff like a custom theme. If you wanna know more about FL Studio and all the cool little tips and tricks you can do like watermark your beats, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. In the last video I did on FL Studio, they updated and dropped the multi-band delay. It is going to be the number one plugin that producers use in 2023 if they're making samples, and I'm gonna show you why. This is what we started out with. You turn on multi-band delay, instantly changes the texture of it, the sound. I think a ton of producers are gonna be using this plugin in the future, but we're gonna compare it to the plugins that they just released today. Vintage Course is FL Studio's version of the Juno 6 course, so let's try it out. I got this simple bass line that I created with Scorch. So let's turn it on. Ooh, instantly really wide. And there is a ton of presets in here. Let's check these out. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, FL, you might got one. You might finally got one. Hey, that's crazy. Dude, okay. That is f***ing sick. So I got this basic one shot that I pulled from Scorch One Shot Pack. Pretty cool one shot, but listen to how much this evolves when you add the gated shimmer fifth up. <laughs> Crazy. 10 out of 10. This is an amazing reverb. I think sample makers are gonna get a lot of this. I'd love to know what you guys think and what you're gonna use this effect on. So let me know in the comment section below. So this is the sequencer arpeggiator that they've included. You actually have to open it in patcher. So what I have going on right now, the sequencer going into Scorch. I'm using uh, the synth keys preset. So let's try this out. Okay. So right off the rip, not that impressed so far, but maybe that's because I don't know what's going on. There is a lot of presets in here. <laughs> Let's try out this chord poly. Uh, the chord feature is pretty dope. On a scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give this like a four or five. The one thing that is pretty cool with this is the velocity and the chord feature. In general, I think we have a lot of these plugins like this already available to us, so. Okay, vintage phaser. Ooh. Okay, this is already starting off right. What I love about the vintage phaser and the chorus is that they now have these modulation sections. You can sync it to your tempo and it is very easy to get that walk to Poland sound. You hear how vibrato that is? Stop it. Get some help. The biggest thing that I am excited for is this browser. I think it's gonna save all of us a ton of time. So let's just say we wanted to drag this Encore and this KD-808 over. All I have to do is hit Control, and I can drag both of them over. So you can drag multiple one-shots. Oh, whoa. Okay, this is pretty cool. What I just figured out there is if you hit the plus sign and you want to put in Scorch, for instance, it's gonna open up here. Uh, you could play what you want and this is gonna automatically, as you can see, it's created its own pattern. So I'm assuming you're gonna be able to open that up, quickly lay down some MIDI and then it's instantly going to be right in there as a pattern, which is just upping the workflow. You guys are gonna be able to get more samples, more beats done with this. So you can actually create your own themes inside of this new FL. So you wanna go to general settings, you wanna come down here to miscellaneous and you wanna select theme. So you have your default theme. You can literally come in here. If I click light mode instantly, this is going to change that. So as you can see there, I just customized my theme pretty simply. Obviously, a lot of producers, I imagine, are going to put together some really cool themes. And I'm sure there will even be some default presets here because this doesn't look great. But I definitely think you could customize it and turn it into something special. If you like this video and you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you check out Scorch. It is a rap producer's best friend. My name is Jacob, and I'll see you next time time.